BPH is a condition where the prostate gland gets bigger as men age. Don't worry, it's not cancer. Many men experience some prostate growth as they get older. It's a natural part of aging for many. But for some, this growth can lead to uncomfortable symptoms. The prostate is a small gland about the size of a walnut found in men. It sits right below the bladder and plays a crucial role in the reproductive system. The prostate produces fluid that mixes with sperm to create semen. Now, when BPH happens, this enlargement can squeeze the urethra. The urethra is the tube that carries urine from the bladder out of the body. Imagine a garden hose with a slight kink. That's what BPH can do to your urethra. This pressure from the enlarged prostate can lead to those uncomfortable urinary symptoms we'll talk about soon. Remember, every man's experience with BPH is different. So, what causes the prostate to enlarge? Well, the exact reasons are still being researched, but we know a few key factors play a role. Age is a big one. As men get older, the likelihood of developing BPH increases. Hormones also have a part to play. As men age, hormone levels change, and this shift can contribute to prostate growth. Family history and genetics can also increase the risk. If your father or brother had BPH, you might be more likely to develop it too. While we can't control aging or genetics, there are some lifestyle factors we can influence. Recognizing the symptoms. Now let's talk about the symptoms of BPH. One of the most common signs is frequent urination, especially at night. Ever find yourself waking up multiple times to use the bathroom? That could be a sign of BPH. Another symptom is difficulty starting urination. It's like your bladder is hesitant to let go. You might also experience a weak urine stream or dribbling after you finish, and sometimes you might feel like you haven't fully emptied your bladder. These symptoms can be frustrating, but remember they're treatable. Diagnosing benign prostate enlargement. Your doctor will use your medical history, a physical exam, and some tests to get a clear picture. First, they'll ask about your symptoms, so be open and honest about what you're experiencing. Then they'll perform a digital rectal exam. Don't worry, it's a quick and relatively painless procedure where the doctor feels the prostate through the rectum to check its size and shape. Your doctor might also order some tests, like a urine test, to rule out other conditions. A PSA blood test measures a protein made by the prostate. Elevated levels could indicate BPH or other prostate problems. Imaging tests, like an ultrasound, provide a visual of the prostate and bladder, helping to assess their size and any blockages. Treatment options for BPH. The best approach depends on the severity of your symptoms, overall health and personal preferences. For mild cases, your doctor might recommend watchful waiting. This involves monitoring your symptoms and making lifestyle changes. Medications are often the next step. Alpha blockers relax the bladder and prostate muscles, easing urine flow. 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, on the other hand, shrink the prostate by blocking hormone production. If medications aren't enough, minimally invasive procedures like TERP, transurethral resection of the prostate, can remove excess prostate tissue, improving urine flow, Laser therapy is another option using heat to shrink the prostate. In some cases, surgery might be recommended to remove the enlarged part of the prostate. Managing life with BPH. First and foremost, schedule regular checkups with your doctor to monitor your prostate health. A healthy diet is crucial. Load up on fruits, vegetables and whole grains. Regular exercise is also beneficial. Aim for at least 30 minutes most days of the week. Manage fluid intake by spreading it throughout the day and limiting beverages before bedtime. Be mindful of potential bladder irritants like caffeine and alcohol, which can worsen symptoms.